In the current media industry, movies, TV shows, and commercials are directed by 30-year-old, 40-year-old, and 50-year-old directors and on up. So we have all this content that's targeted at young people and teens and children that's directed by adults, or as my 11-year-old daughter likes to call them, old people. <laughs> what would happen if a teen director was allowed to create the content meant for the young audience? Is it possible that the impact could be far greater than what an adult could bring because a young person is closer connected to their youth? I know something about being a young director because when I was 13 years old, I snuck onto the set of a movie that was shooting in my small town and I followed around the director. And eventually he noticed that I was standing there and he gave me permission to stay. And for two years I studied with him. I made my first documentary when I was 16 years old, my first commercial. And I was able to begin professionally directing, in part because my parents were so supportive of me and they believed in me, but also because of this incredible mentorship program that I had created myself. And so really, I have made it a priority in my life to mentor college students, teens, even children. Most recently, I have been mentoring a young child named Lily, who came to me with a body of work, of photography, that I thought was really quite remarkable. And so I started teaching how to direct, where to put the camera. And every time we would work together, she would go off and shoot her friends, and she would come back, and I was so inspired. Because the images that she would make felt like what it was really like to be a young person. And I had this idea. What would happen if Lily was hired to direct a commercial? What would happen if other young directors were given a chance to speak directly to the audiences that brands were trying to reach? Well, this is what happens when you give the camera to a 13-year-old. I'm very pr proud to present Lily's first commercial. Smarty Pants All-in-One Gummy Vitamins, for kids and adults. I had this idea, and I founded a company called Adolescent. We represent directors ages 12 to 27 years old. Our directors are exceptional. They're really prodigies. And two of our young directors have recently been nominated for the Cannes Young Directors Award, and many of our directors are currently finishing projects with the top advertising agencies in the world. So what does it take to become a young professional director? Three things. One, you need to have the passion, the obsession with filmmaking, akin to uh, Wayne Gretzky or Sarita Williams, you know, passion for their sport. Two, you have to have the tools. You have to have a camera, and you have to have parents who believe in you. And three, you need to have a mentor. And a mentor can be either a person like myself, a single person, or it can be a collective, like what we see on social media when a young person posts their work and then they get positive feedback or constructive criticism. And a good example of this is something that I saw four years ago. I heard about this 11-year-old photographer who was living in Arkansas in a little town and photographing her friends. And she was effortlessly doing what professional photographers try so hard to do, which is capture youth culture. She was just doing it. And critics were calling her one of the seminal teen photographers of her time. I'm very proud because she's now an adolescent director. And I want to introduce you to Sita McVeigh. She's 15 years old, and this is her work. I got in a hospital. No one laughs at God in a war. No one's laughing at God when they're starving or freezing or so very poor. No one laughs.
laughs are God when a doctor calls after some routine tests. No one's laughing at God when it's gotten real late and their kid's not back from their party yet. No one laughs at God when their airplane starts to uncontrollably shake. No one's laughing at God when they see the one they love hand in hand with someone else and they hold that they're mistaken. No one laughs at God. When the cops knock on their door and they say we got some bad news, sir. No one's laughing at God when there's a famine, fire, or flood. But God could be funny at a cocktail party while listening to a good goddamn joke. Or when the crazy say he hates us and they get so red in the head, you think they're about to choke. God could be funny when told to give you money if you just pray the right way. When presented like a Magic like Houdini or Grand Swishes like Jimmy the Crick and Santa Claus. God can be so hilarious. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hello, I'm Sita. I started photographing when I was 10 years old. The reason was my sister was a really good photographer and I was jealous of her. So <laughs> I'd steal her camera and just take pictures of myself and my friends and um, I started posting them online on Flickr and I became part of a community of young photographers on there and they all supported me and mentored me and really are the reason I kept shooting. Um, I really just fell in love with photography as I was documenting my youth to share with my friends and recently I became a part of adolescent and was and, um, <laughs> now I'm learning to direct commercials and I feel like I have so much to express and so much that I want to create and share and I feel like I feel so lucky to have this opportunity to tell stories. I know of a director who shot his first video when he was only five years old, an animated stop motion of his Legos. His name is Elwood Walker He's 13 years old, and he's the next adolescent director. It is my pleasure to share with you Elwood's first spec spot. My mom, like a lot of other parents, is concerned about how much time I spend on my phone. She thinks that I spend way too much time. She's always telling me, Elwood, get off your phone, or Elwood, get off your computer. She thinks I spend way too much time, which I don't. Selfie, hashtag TEDx. Anyways, what she doesn't realize is that I use my computer to edit short films, like the one you just saw, and I post them on social media websites, like YouTube, for example. I know a lot of parents are concerned about social media and they worry that it will diminish their child's ability to relate normally and that it's a dangerous environment. <laughs> but I found social media to be a very creative environment because not only can I share my work with the world, but I can receive feedback. If I couldn't share my videos with the world like that one, I wouldn't be standing on the stage right now. I wouldn't be at TEDx talking to everyone. And I think that it's time that the world listens to youth because we have a lot to learn, but we also have a lot to teach. And I want you to rethink what you know about the media. I want you to rethink specifically how commercials, movies, TV shows, how they're made, who they're by, and who they're for specifically. I think that instead of the 45-year-old director creating a commercial or movie for teens, I think that maybe I should do that. Because not only do I understand what my peers want, but we can get across the message. And if you support us and believe in us, together, we can revolutionize the industry. Thank you.